Welcome to a tutorial on how to get the PlayStation emulator on your computer. Now, first thing you want to do is go on this site and click this link and save that file to the desktop and stuff. Um, yeah, causes a bit of lag at first, but that's just my computer. Anyways. You take the file, well, first, what I would do is put a new folder, label it PlayStation, and put it in there, and open it, oops, open it, open, gosh darn it, open, and then you extract it with whatever you have, I have 7-zip, I use it all the time, it's very useful. Go ahead and extract all of it into this. You can go ahead and get rid of that RAR file. You don't need it anymore. I always get rid of files I don't need. Okay. Now. It's going to be like, you double click it. And you think, oh no, it's working. But it won't work. You need a BIOS image which you should find by googling it well there's actually a specific type that you need and that type is you go into your BIOS folder and it says put scph1001.bin here. So that's what you need. scph1001.bin and yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. That should work. And you can just save it and whatnot. Yeah. My mic is really loud, so you can hear my breathing. <sighs> I sound so creepy. Okay. Just go ahead and extract that into the freaking BIOS folder and get rid of the zip. I always get rid of this. Anyways, now you should open it, the PlayStation thing, and select the language, and it should work. Uh... Yeah, it sounds terrible because fraps causing lag. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways. But, what do I do now? Well, you need a CD image. Now, if you have a actual CD of a PlayStation game, that could work too. But if you don't, you can go on to... ROMHUSTLER.NET It kind of changed the site. It used to be different. Anyways you go on to PlayStation and here's an alphabetical thingamajig I have ads disabled so you might see some ads here whatever anyways Resident Evil Resident Evil Resident Evil okay so <sighs> it's hard to talk because I'm hearing myself and I'm not used to it yet and I don't know how to make it so I don't hear myself. This is the only way. What the heck? Resident Evil is not on here. Oh, there it is. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. God darn it. They disabled that. Uh oh. 
that sucks. He used to be on here. Okay. Well. Let's Google it. Resident Evil 1 ISO. And it should be on Emmy Paradise, which is a site I never go on because it's weird. And. Yeah. You should find the download link somewhere on here. I'm going to have all these links in the description, hopefully. Oh my god, I have to freaking watch a freaking video. This is why I don't like this stuff. Oh my god. It's an ad that I'm done. to hear. Please Bye. enter the following F U D D Y D U D D Y <laughs> Suddy Duddy. That is stupid. Verify and download. Yeah, that was kind of awkward. Oh well. Hmm. Okay, just click on that. These sites change all the time. It's kind of weird. And it should save into... Well, this is a... My other one. I need to put it in this one. You should put it in CD images. And save it. So, yeah. And... Okay. It should not take that long. This site makes it take that long. Oh my god. Okay. Well, if you have the time, you can do that. Anyways, I... will show you how to set up a memory card. Okay, so... Go into... Configuration... type in awesome memory card one and it should have work yep or you can use save states like I do it's so much easier and you can here you can set up a controller if you have a controller that plugs in you can um, well, if you do plug something in, there should be something that pops up, and you can configure that. Hmm. And that's it. Then you would go into Insert CD Image to find the super awesome. Let me just open my other one that I already have. Um, I'm gonna cut this video up. Okay. I already have a PlayStation thing up, so let me just show you. Let me just show you. Insert CD image and you would double click on the bin file or image file. Sometimes it's bin, sometimes it's image. Either one will work. Silent Hill is my favorite game. My favorite. It creeps me out. Anyways, it's lagging because it's recording. I guarantee that it does not lag normally with all the sound glitches. Whatever. Um. Yeah, there are violent and disturbing images in this game. No, there's not. Okay, well, I highly recommend configuring your things. Um, 
because it does get confusing. I personally put triangle as E, square as S, D, X, F, circle, enter, start, space bars, select, and then W and Q, R and T, that's the trigger thingy majiggies, because they're all right next to each other, I don't have to move around. The only thing that's weird is that instead of W A S D, it's E S D F, which is like slightly over to the right. You can get used to that. And let me just fast forward a little bit. Come on. Okay, forget it. Well, it is working. You can see it's working. Silence here. I totally just skipped the intro. It doesn't lag like this normally. This only happens when I record, which is kind of weird. Trust me, it does not lag. Let me skip that. lagging because I'm recording. It doesn't lag normally. I swear. I swear. Rah. Okay. Well, you can see it works. A creepy game. Okay. Um, that's it for the tutorial. Goodbye. And if you have any questions, please comment or something. I don't know.